the question of metaphysics, of what the nature of being is in relation to the universe. To have an ontological understanding of the universe is to un- understand its true cosmology, which is deeper than any being that may exhibit it in a certain way. Because any being exhibiting the universe or perceiving the universe, conceiving it in a certain way, is still in part subject to the universe in which they are either producing or either a recipient of. They, they still form this indivisible relation where they are both in the same dimension. And we are ultimately trying to explain what is the dimensional magnitude of the universe is and so even if we say that the universe is ultimately being exhibited by some advanced being or by just the human being manipulating the masses in order to provide a story of what it is and again that is possible i'm not denying that fact i'm simply trying to understand what is the laws that govern the interaction of that observer with either the deception of reality or, or 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 reality itself we say okay if the universe is a hologram then what is the nature then of that hologram and therefore its cause we still need to understand its nature and so if we take away the cause and try to understand the nature which science always tries to do and ultimately in metaphys- metaphysics the cause always matters you can't just simply exclude the cause you can't simply say well take away the person causing the hologram and then we'll just examine the hologram because then you'd be missing the point. You'll just be examining something that's inherently meant to deceive the examination. So you're falling into the trap. You have to take in conjuncture the deception or the opposite of that deception, the reality, in relation to the observer, either whether that observer is its cause or ultimately its recipient. And you have to take the totality of the interaction between the phenomena and the observer, say the universe and and, and, and and the prime mover, as Aristotle used to say it, that caused the universe into being, the unmoved mover. You know, he moves everything, but he's unmoved by anything. You know, And that's just ultimately placing a limit on the infinite regress of cause and effect. Every effect has a cause and every cause has an effect every effect is caused by some previous cause which caused that cause and what caused that cause and we can go on forever until we stop at a point an infinite point and we say well nothing is before or after that it ultimately just discloses any particular instance that can be picked out within it and so the holographic universe precisely involves this aspect the scientific part of the holographic universe in modern times we say belongs to string theory and relates to quantum gravity ultimately describes the volume of space that the that the universe is disclosed within the total volume of space that our three-dimensional reality is disclosed within everything we sense see and observe the dimensional world of ordinary experience, the universe filled with galaxies, stars, planets, houses, people, all of those things that can be thought of are actually encoded within a lower dimensional boundary, such as a light boundary or like a some kind of gravitational horizon. So the three-dimensional world is fundamentally a hologram, an image of reality encoded on a distant two-dimensional surface. And, 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 that's, and that's the essence of a holographic universe. 